Sometimes you'll hear these tumors referred to as acoustic neuromas, and that's actually not very accurate. The true name of these is a vestibular schwannoma. These are tumors that grow off of the, the insulating cells off the actual balance nerve. So acoustic neuromas are benign tumors that grow on the hearing and balance nerve, what's known as the eighth cranial nerve. They actually grow off the balance portion of the nerve almost every time. They're the most common tumor in the area of the brain that we call the posterior fossa. So they're tumors that are still uncommon, perhaps one in 100,000 people have them, but they're the most common of an uncommon tumor. Often there's very, very little that you can tell about these tumors when they're there. The most common thing is actually hearing loss, and usually that's in a single ear. So in most people, as they lose hearing, whether it's from noise or age, both ears tend to lose hearing at a similar rate. In acoustic neuromas, one ear will become dramatically different. Now sometimes it's as subtle as just noticing ringing in the ear or tinnitus in one ear, but that's a sign that you need to actually evaluate that ear and be sure there's nothing else going on deeper inside. Depending on the size of the tumor, where the tumor is, the age of the patient, and how much hearing they have left, there's actually three different ways that we can approach the tumors. Beginning posteriorly or be well behind the ear, there's a sort of a traditional craniotomy we call a retrosigmoid craniotomy, and that will get you access to most of the tumors. Another method in patients that have already lost their hearing or for whom the tumor is so large that preserving the hearing is unlikely, we can actually go through the ear via an operation we call a translabyrinthine operation. That's sort of a, a large version of an, of an ear surgery that takes you right down to the tumor. The final way that we approach these tumors is via what's called a middle fossa craniotomy, and that's for smaller tumors that are just in the tiny canal where the nerves come through. So those are three different options that an experienced team will have available to them. It's really important that you get in with a team that's actively taking care of these tumors so you can see what the best options are for you. These tumors should be very individualized, so it's important that we treat you the way you want to be treated, and sometimes there's a number of options, so always important to get somewhere where you can have the treatment tailored to what you need.